Bernie Mack here for the AIHL. I'm here with former NHL player Terry Yake. This is your second year back in Australia for the USA a Canada Classic. You must be enjoying yourself. I love it. I mean, I, you can't ask for anything more to get an opportunity to come over here and play hockey. What you know, do what we love, see a countryside, uh, meet unbelievable people. I mean, it's so much like home with great people here in Australia that. Uh, you know, it's so beautiful. We a lot of us say we could probably live here, and that's uh, that's quite a compliment. Now you've had some unique experiences on this trip, um, playing in Newcastle this week, one of the the hometown rinks. Just tell us a little bit about how that was for the guys on the trip. I think we all enjoyed that. I personally loved it. I love the small, I'm a smaller rink, the atmosphere of that rink seeing 700, 800 people crammed into a small building. I would love to see us get to these smaller venues and these towns and and show these people that NHL players have played on their ice and what it looks like when you get the, the speed of guys who play in the NHL and the American Hockey League playing in their a building and I think uh, you know these great these groups would really enjoy it and that was a lot of fun in Newcastle and I hope that uh, in the future they do more of those games you know during the week and and just build it into the schedule. Now, as a player who's been through an expansion draft in the NHL, back with the uh, Anaheim Mighty Ducks and the Atlanta Thrashers, uh, we've obviously got the uh, Las Vegas Golden Knights expansion draft coming up. Can you just tell us a little bit about what that ex expansion experience was like for you as a player? Well, first off, when you the players that get left off the list, so they're, they're available for Las Vegas or back in my day, it was Anaheim, the Mighty Ducks of Anaheim in 93, 94, and then Atlanta Thrashers. Sometimes you feel jaded by the team that left you off. You know, maybe they don't want you, but believe me, it's an opportunity of a lifetime for all of them. And and going to those expansion teams is probably one of the best thing that's going to happen to every single one of those guys in their career. They're going to get a chance to go and play. They're going to go from you know being a third or a fourth line player to being a top Top line player, they're going to get an opportunity to prove themselves. They're going to a team that wants them, and a new team is always exciting. Even if you've got to teach them the rules, as we did in Anaheim, we've had to show them what offsides were and how the game was played and what was fun about it, you know, and really build an atmosphere and a, and a, uh, and a following in Anaheim. It's a lot of fun, and they're going to have a lot of fun in, in, in Vegas as well. It's going to be a tremendous market, and, uh, you know, I envy those guys that get that opportunity, and I think uh, I'm really going to be watching it personally because I was part of two of them. I got picked by Atlanta in uh, 2000 as well, so that was a lot of fun uh, going there too. Now, obviously, uh, your, your love for the game is, is rather infectious. We had, you know, 13, 14,000 people out there um, screaming on Team Canada. What can the fans look forward to in Melbourne? Well, I think much the same. I think the... the the pace of the game in Melbourne is going to be every bit as good, if not better. Uh, you know, Team USA is going to want a little revenge. We gave it to them pretty good tonight, and uh, you know, but they're going to come back fighting, and we're going to have to uh, back that up with an even better effort. So, you know, the guys are, you know, the camaraderie will get good throughout the week, and uh, there'll be more comments made back and forth, and I think the level of competition will be really high in Melbourne. Awesome, Terry. Thank you very much for your time. Always a pleasure. Thanks.